hi there welcome to my channel if it's your first time here welcome to this amazing channel this is a happy place we are a happy bunch <laughs> feel free to join us by subscribing to my channel and hitting the notification bell so you do not miss any of my uploads and today i'm going to be talking about how exactly intermittent fasting makes you lose weight if that sounds like something you're interested in make sure you keep on watching all right now that we're here i would like you guys to give this video a thumbs up because it helps with the rating of my channel and that means you love this type of content and it encourages me to do more of this and you know to add more spice to my content anyways first and foremost what is intermittent fasting if you want a very detailed video about what intermittent fasting is how it works the magic it does i'd like you to click on this video and make sure you watch it this is a very detailed video on how intermittent fasting is the magic behind it whatsoever it is that you want to know it's in that video so make sure you click on it i would even like you to watch that first of all before you come here to watch this so if you like you can watch this then go to that but it is mostly important to watch that then come back here anyways let me explain how intermittent fasting makes you lose weight in the first place when you fast there is no food in your body your body has you know digested everything you've eaten taken everything and turned it into nutrients turned it into energy and perhaps you've even used up the energy by doing your daily activities and so on and so forth so in the moment where you are fasting your insulin goes down your body is at rest because it is not taking out time to work on digesting your food when you begin to use your body for your daily activities your body needs energy to help you carry out those tasks even when you're sleeping so what does your body do it begins to tap into stored fats converts it into energy that is the whole way weight loss happens when you fast i'll take that again when you fast your body takes stored fats to give you energy that is the whole process of fat burning weight loss during the intermittent fasting that is why it is very very important you fast it is very very certain for you to lose weight because it works like rocket science and it is guaranteed you lose weight during the intermittent fasting but hey that's not why we're here today i'm going to be telling you about how you can do the intermittent fasting to lose weight and make sure you lose weight because some people say i've been doing the intermittent fasting i haven't lost any weight are you sure let me know how you've been doing your intermittent fasting why you think you haven't been losing weight in the comment section down below perhaps i'll be able to correct you and to see if you're actually doing it the right way and to you know just see what we're doing <laughs> so first and foremost you need to have a pattern you follow what do i mean by a pattern it could be the 16 8 meaning you fast for 16 hours and you eat within the eight hours window mind you you do not have to eat every hour in like the eight hour window in fact you should just have your breakfast your lunch and your dinner i would not advise you to have snacks in between because that way you'll be spiking up your insulin so if you want to have a snack have it before your meal or immediately after your meal and let your insulin go down again then once you have your lunch your insulin comes up again so have a pattern so there is the 18 six there's the 24 there's the 21 three and there's the 24 hours fast there is the alternative day fast there's the 48 hours fast there's the 72 hours fast and so on and so forth so it depends on which one you have the energy to carry out so once you have a pattern i for instance i like to do 17 7 i fast for 17 hours and eat within the seven hours window once you have a pattern be very disciplined with it make sure you are keeping to that pattern make sure you are keeping to the timing of your fast and the time when you should eat so rather than thinking you should elongate your time for maybe seven 17 hours fast maybe 20 hours fast all of a sudden it is more important you keep to that pattern so once you do that fast the same time every single day you are guaranteed to have a better result so it's not about elongating your fast or doing the fast for longer 
all of a sudden it's about doing it the same time if you are doing the 16 hours make sure you do the 16 hours throughout that week throughout that month for you to see effective weight loss that way you've conditioned your body to always burn fat at that particular time so when you are elongating it here elongating it there your body might be confused and so on and so forth that is why it is important for you to keep that pattern so i like to keep my pattern of 17 hours fast and also the time of my fast so i like to fast once it is 5 because once it is 5 pm i head over to the gym and i'm not done until about 8 pm in the night and once i get home around 9 it is late to start eating so i like to start my fast around 5 and i fast till the following day until it's about 9 10 a.m in the morning where i have my first meal of the day i have my lunch somewhere around 2 p.m and i have my early dinner around 4 just an hour before i go to the gym so yeah keep the pattern rather than elongating the pattern another way you are guaranteed to see results with the intermittent fasting is that period when you you are famished you are hungry something you should do is exercise so that way your body is tapping real hard into your stored fat because your body is going to be needing a lot of energy it doesn't necessarily mean you have to like do the whole exercise wear your canvas wear your nike shorts and all that no you can just be walking back and forth you can take the stairs you can you know do something very simple within your vicinity and that way your body is you know tapping real hard into your stored fat and making sure you burn fat that way your body is burning more and more fat and that is how you are guaranteed to lose weight and see positive results in your intermittent fasting very very important key to you know losing weight during intermittent fasting is taking a lot of water you know making sure you are properly hydrated that way you will even be cleansing your colon and be washing down every kind of stored food that will be remaining there taking it away letting it be processed and you know keeping your mind and your body sane and your temperature very good so last but not the least is consistency i know you are not going to leave this channel without hearing consistency for you to see results in anything you are doing at all you need consistency consistency is key no matter what it is so you need to be consistent in your intermittent fasting and if you do it for two weeks and you're like mm, i'm not seeing results what is going on <laughs> don't come to me because you need to do it for a period or a short period of nothing less nothing less i almost said less than <laughs> nothing less than 21 21 days yes that's three weeks so once you do that for nothing less than that doesn't mean you should do it for 21 weeks because you're supposed to do it for actually one month for you to see results so at least it should be 21 days which is three weeks and you'll be guaranteed to see results in your intermittent fasting so this is a bonus where i'll be mentioning the things that will not break your fast which is number one water of course number two is tea green tea and please don't put milk don't put sugar in your tea <laughs> i'm begging you tea and number three is coffee my favorite so don't put sugar and don't put milk in your coffee also so these three will not break your fast also you have things like bone broth but i don't think people really take bone broth here in nigeria where i am some people don't even know the meaning of bone broth so those three will not break your fast and probably give you energy but i wouldn't advise for you to take tea on an empty stomach because for me it does my stomach some type of way but yeah coffee and water is very good for you to take when you're fasting that way your stomach is full and you kind of have the sense of being full and you know you're able to carry on with your fasting coffee on your coffee on the other hand has caffeine gives you energy and lets you carry on with your fasting so i think we've come to the end of this video and like i said earlier if you enjoyed this content please remember to give this video up a thumbs up <laughs> please remember to give this video a thumbs up in fact i'm begging you please give this video a thumbs up because it helps with the rating of my video and it lets me know that i'm doing fine with this content i'm putting out and you guys want to see more of this 
quality content also if you haven't subscribed to my channel darling hit the subscribe button and you know hit the notification bell so you do not miss any of my fire uploads and i wouldn't like you to leave my channel i like to keep sticking around with me by checking out my videos which will appear here and here <laughs> so i'll see you in the next one you're about to click on so let's go bye Mwah.